five below zero. Today's gonna be the coldest day on record that we've had in the last seven years here in Maine. It's gonna reach up to negative 37 degrees and we're gonna see if we can camp out in that tent for the next 24 hours. So today we are experiencing negative temperatures up to negative 25 tonight and the wind chill values are going to bring that down to negative 37 I believe was the forecast. And so we set up the ice shack, now I didn't want to do that on film because it is just too cold out. I'll show you guys around it, we have a cot and a sleeping bag set up behind me. I got a blanket and then all kinds of warm clothing, I mean I have just packed the layers under here. Hopefully that's going to be warm enough. We got a pillow of course. I got a spare blanket, and then beneath that is another sleeping bag. Pan over, I'm just gonna be storing all my gear right here. We got a heater in here, and it's relatively warm. This is my only heat source. Now this is a little Mr. Buddy heater. I hope this is gonna be warm enough. I think it's just gonna be enough to take off the chill, but I can tell you, I'm gonna wish I had a bigger one after tonight. This is an insulated Eskimo, and as you can see, it's with the heater running, we're just frosting up like crazy. We are out here winter camping, but that is not all we're doing. I need to entertain myself somehow for the next 24 hours. It is eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna be accompanied by my father who helped me set up for just a little bit. I don't think he's gonna stay very long. He has expressed zero interest in spending the night here. <laughs> sense of humor if you're going to fish when it's 35 below zero and some dedication. We are going to be fishing for rainbow smelt and this is generally what the locals use. This is basically a little board that we have some monofilament line around it and then off of that we have tiny little pieces of smelt on there. In Maine we can fish three little hooks so all of these are tipped with smelt and a sinker that's going to help weigh it all down. Now this is a rainbow smelt. And of course they're called rainbow because you can kind of see that purple color in them. But anyway, this is a primary forage of a lot of the predatory fish around here. And it makes for a great bait. It also makes for a great meal if we can catch enough of them. Oh, there's one. This feels like a perch. Mid collar? Oh, I went down to the bottom. I saw a couple marks. I think it might be a perch. A perch. <laughs> Perch. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there's one. All right. Another good one. Yep. We're going to get a meal. It takes all day. <laughs> and we don't have a whole lot else to do. Three smelt. It is now 2.30. We're still surviving. It's absolutely freezing in here. I'm basically, when I'm not talking to the camera, I'm bundled up like that. <laughs> But it's kind of hard to see me under all these layers. So my dad took off. He wasn't really feeling this whole situation. <laughs> Here, I'm going to stick it out. We're going to stay that 24 hours. Five smelt this whole time. And, uh, you know, sometimes you catch dozens of these and that just wasn't happening. But on the bright side, we have enough to go outside and set a couple traps. First things first, we are going to take a couple of our smelts that we got. It shows you how cold it is in here. I mean, everything is still <laughs> frozen <laughs> despite having a heater right here. Anyway. So we're gonna take two of the smelt that we caught here, cut these up, and we're gonna use these to hopefully upgrade to a bigger fish. So we got one half, and then we got the other half.
what we're going to do as much of the rigging process inside as possible. So here is the trap that we're going to be using. We're going to take our fish. So that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Just rigging the minnow on as cut bait and then setting this into the ice. Again, primary goal here is to avoid frostbite. It's cold in here, but it is just brutally cold out there and exposed skin. You know, if I was sitting there like this for a while outside, I would certainly have frostbite. brutal out there got so much clothing on i can hardly breathe but we got all four traps set up i really hope those ones pay off because that was a lot of effort to put them in i'm gonna start jigging once i get warmed up a little bit the sun's Pretty much setting. No flags on the first three. Oh, got one. <laughs> there we go. So I wouldn't say it's the best bite, but you know, at least I'm getting a couple here and there. It's a smelt. As the sun set, it's got significantly colder in here. The walls are just all ice. This is a black tent, and you can see that the walls are just all white, condensating and then freezing in here sheet of ice up here and this is an insulated shack too i think this is 600 denier but anyway let's go see if we got fish here we have four flags out there hopefully at least one of them is going to have a fish we're going to go check see if we can find any nope no fish on that one definitely no fish third flag Oh man, that's a bummer. Struck out, but you know, that's okay. We got a lot longer to go. We're at the halfway point right now. It's almost eight o'clock at night, which means I have 12 hours to go. It's absolutely freezing out here and it's only getting colder. It's miserable out there. Terrible. It's starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. As we progress into the night, it's getting colder and colder. I have to wear my puffy as well as some gloves just to stay warm inside the tent. And yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to stay up and jig. I feel like I just need to crawl up in bed. We are gonna go back out and check the traps. This may be the last trip. I cannot warm up even when in here, so it's time to crawl into that sleeping bag. It'd be nice to get one tonight. The heater is running out of propane again, so we'll have to replace that when we get back. Oh, but let's go check. One last time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we might have a fish, everybody. Nothing. It was just a false flag. Ugh. Dang. No flag. This is the worst part. I don't know why I waited to do this so late. It's far too cold to be doing this.
Yeah. Whole lot of nothing. We definitely hit the negative 37 degree mark. I thought it was bad earlier. It is almost intolerable to get out of the shaft right now. Would you open? Thank you. And the heater's off, no. Look at the ice build up on that. Covered. I'm gonna bring that heater in close, get that right here. I am uh, cold enough that I need to crawl into my sleeping bag. For sure. I would say I stayed pretty warm all day, but as we've been hitting that 37 degree mark, it's just been getting harder and harder to keep warm in here. Hopefully I'm gonna sleep this whole night through. <laughs> okay, so I just ran into a problem. You can see how much ice is forming on the roof here. The little bit that is melted happens to be right above the heater. Of course, my bed is right here, so the bit that's melted is just raining on me. So that's driving me a bit nuts. I'm gonna try to, I shouldn't have done that. I just got my pillow all wet. Scrape off and knock off as much as I can, so hopefully it'll stop dripping on my head. I am going to get back into this mummy sleeping bag. I will catch you guys in the morning. have survived the night. Last night was really cold, but with everything I've got on here, I stayed more or less pretty warm. I'm gonna start packing up, get everything ready to go, so when it hits eight o'clock, I can get out of here and go get myself a coffee. <laughs> 